Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, some of my subscribers, they've been sending me messages wanting to know if it's better to walk across the border to visit Tijuana or Zona Norte, or is it better to drive your car across the border? Well, I can tell you this. If you're asking that question, that tells me that you're a rookie. And if you are a rookie, you definitely need to walk across the border the first couple of times. It's perfectly safe. You're going to walk across the border. As soon as you get into Mexico, there's taxi cabs everywhere. They're going to be saying, hey, taxi, taxi, revolution, Zona Norte, Hong Kong, wherever. Get in the taxi. But when you do get in the taxi, it's going to cost you about 10 bucks. Make him take you to either the Adelita Bar, the Hong Kong Club, or Revolution, wherever you are going. Do not let him talk you in to going somewhere else, okay? They try to talk you into going other places because they get tips and they get money under the table for taking you to these other places. You don't want to do that. Say, no, just go ahead and take me to the Hong Kong Club, period. Another thing, too. When you're driving your car across the border, driving in Tijuana is a completely different animal than driving in the States, okay? Um, you also don't have to worry about parking if you walk across. That can be difficult. You don't have to worry about getting pulled over by a cop. Him. You don't have to worry about uh, whether or not your insurance is good down there, okay? And the biggest thing is coming back. Folks, when you get ready to come back in the morning, a lot of times there'll be three or 400 cars in line to cross the border, okay? And that's per lane. So an enormous traffic jam. It's horrendous. The best thing you can do is go over there, party, have a good time, and get up early. Or as soon as you get done partying at 3, 4, 5 in the morning, go right back to the border and walk back across the border. Okay? Because if you wait till 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning to cross the border, you're going to be competing with all the students. You're going to be competing with all the people going to work. And the line's going to be really bad, okay? I'm talking about San Ysidro. Also, don't forget your passport if you're walking at San Ysidro. They're checking for that now. That's only walking at San Ysidro. Uh, if you're thinking about crossing in Otay or Tecate, you'll probably be okay, but not at San Ysidro. Okay, and um, also I wanted to tell you guys, if you do decide to walk across the border, the best place to park when you're going down the 5 or the 805, whatever that is right there, you're going to go down to San Ysidro Boulevard. It's going to say last USA exit. Take the last USA exit. And what I used to always do is I used to just park behind the Jack in the Box. Uh, there's a Jack in the Box and a McDonald's and a trolley station right there. It's 24 hours secured parking. Your car is going to be fine. You can walk across the border, not waste a lot of time and have a great time. Hey guys, thank you so much. Like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, hit me up. Let me know until next time. Peace out. We'll see you later.